welcome back my youtube family i am your instructor rashid and today we have something very exciting for you if you are an accountant and want to automate your factory expenses then you are in the right place and if you belong to the hr department i highly recommend watching my complete hr automation tutorial using artificial intelligence if you work in a different department write in the comments below and in the next episode I will show you how to automate your department's tasks. Now let's get started with today's topic, factory expense automation using DeepSeek AI. Imagine you are an accountant and you receive a voucher for an expense. Instead of manually entering details into an Excel sheet, we will use an automated system to simplify the process. Step 1. Making an expense entry. Open the expense entry form in our automation software. The system automatically generates the next entry number. Since we already have 50,000 entries, this will be entry number 50,001. Enter the date of the expense, 31st January 2025. Select the expense category, in this case, utilities. Write a description to understand this entry later. For example, paid by Ahmed, gas bill. Enter the amount, here, it is 50,000. Choose the payment method. Let's say cash. Select the person who signed the voucher. For example, James Anderson. Click on add and the system will store this entry in the database. Now let's visit the database sheet to check whether the expense has been recorded correctly. And yes, the new entry has been successfully added. Step 2. Adding a new expense. If you want to enter another expense, click on the clear button. The form is now ready for the next entry. Repeat the previous steps for the new expense. Step 3. Searching and updating expenses. If you need to review or update an old expense, go to the database sheet. Search using the entry number. The system will show you the expense details. If needed, update the entry here in database sheet. If you want a detailed tutorial on adding, updating, and searching expenses, watch my other episode, where I explain everything step by step. Now, let's move to our dashboard to analyze the expenses visually. Total expense KPI card shows the total amount spent. Payment method wise. Expense displays expenses categorized by cash, bank, or credit. Day wise expense bar chart helps you analyze which days had higher expenses. Category wise expense shows where the money is being spent the most. Expense trend analysis helps track expenses over time. Slicers for filtering data, you can filter expenses by payment method and expense category. This is a fully automated and dynamic expense management system, which reduces errors and allows you to review all details in one window. And here's the best part. I will be creating this entire system using DeepSeek AI an advanced artificial intelligence tool. It will automate data entry, improve accuracy, and make expense tracking seamless. Press Ctrl plus N to open a new workbook. Go to File, then click Save As. Click Browse to choose your save location. In the File Name box, type Factory Expense Tracker. In the Save As Type drop-down, select Excel Macro Enabled Workbook XLSM. Click Save and you're done. Saving as a macro-enabled workbook allows you to use VBA macros. First, we rename the sheet. Go to the bottom where the sheet name is. Rename. Type Entry and press Enter. Now, we zoom in for better visibility. Go to the bottom right corner of Excel. Click on the zoom slider and increase it to 210%. Click on cell B2 and type the title of the form. Now, we decrease the height of row 1 and row 3. Next, we type the fields for the user form below the title. Let's set the column widths properly. Right-click on column B and select column width, type 17, OK. Right-click on column D and select column width, type 17, OK. Right-click on column C, set width to 26. Right-click on column E, set width to 26. Decrease the width of column A and column F in the same way. Now, we format the title. Select cells B2 to E2. Click on Merge and Center. Change the background color to orange. Change the text color to white. 
Set the font style to Cambria. Now, we format the fields. Select all the fields and set the font style to Calibri. Next, we color row 5. Select row 5. Change the background color to light orange. Let's apply the same format to two more rows. Select the next two rows and apply the formatting. Now, let's remove grid lines for a cleaner look. Go to the View tab. Uncheck Grid Lines. Finally, we change the font size of the entries. Select all the entry cells. Set the font size to 9. Go to the Insert tab. Click Shapes. Select Rectangle Shape. Set the height to 0.27 and width to 0.84. Type ADD. Center the text from the Home tab. Go to Shape Format. Change the color to green. Copy the shape. Change the text to clear and set the color to orange from shape format. Go to the new sheet, rename it to list and zoom in to 170%. Then copy the lists here for data validation in the user form. Go back to the entry form, select cell C6, go to the data tab, click data validation. In the pop-up window, select list under any value, then click source, go to the list sheet, select the range of expense categories and press OK. Similarly, add drop-down lists for payment method and approved by in the user form. These drop-down lists help avoid mistakes and make data analysis easier. Add a new sheet, rename it to database, then copy the previous data into this sheet and zoom in to 130%. Go back to the entry form, select the entry number cell and use the max function to find the last entry number from the database sheet. Since the last entry number is 50,000, add 1 to the formula to auto-generate the next entry number. If we have a voucher and need to add it, we will use VBA on the Add button. Go to the database sheet and we need to add a new expense. Copy the VBA prompt, paste it into DeepSeek AI and generate the VBA code. Copy this VBA code. Go back to Excel, press Alt plus F11, open Module 1 and paste the code. Close this window, right click on the Add button, select Assign Macro and assign the copy data to database macro. Now press add and the expense will be added to the database sheet. Let me explain you this prompt to get VBA code to copy data from entry form to database sheet. Go to the entry sheet. The entry NORS is in C4, date in C5, expense category in C6, description in C7, amount in E4, payment method in E5 and approved by in E6. Now, go to the database sheet where the headers are in columns A to G. We need a VBA code to find the next empty row and copy the data from the entry sheet to the database sheet without clearing the original data. After the data is copied, a message will appear saying, Expense added to database successfully. Go to the Developer tab, click New Macro, and name it Clear. Select the range C5 to C7. Press Delete to clear, then do the same for the range E4 to E6. Stop the macro. Now, go to Macros, select Clear Macro, and click Edit. Copy this macro, go to DeepSeek AI, paste it there, and ask to optimize the code. Copy the optimized code, replace it with the previous code, and close the window. Right-click on the Clear button, select Assign Macro, and assign the Clear Macro. Now, whenever there are entries in the form, Press the clear button first to make the form ready for the next entry. So now we have created our data entry form, list and database. Now you will get vouchers and enter your daily expenses in this sheet. In the next video, we will create an awesome dashboard to analyze expenses. That's all for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want automation for any other department, let me know in the comments. Oh,